it going everybody? Wes Davies here. I am going to start off the day with a ridiculous bowl of strawberries and blueberries because I know what's in store for me this afternoon and it's not going to be pretty. Alright, let's see how this goes. I'm going to try to get some blueberries in there. Nice plump little strawberry. Mmm. Oh yeah. Man, those blueberries are so sweet. I, I bought them a few days ago now, so they're even more ripe than before. Oh, they just have such a sweet, natural flavor. And I'm trying to get another strawberry here. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good bite. Mm. Oh yeah, mm. it's so good. Oh man, fresh fruit is where it's at, guys. All right, I've shaved, I've showered, I had a little bit of a workout, and I'm getting hungry. It's time to hit the road. It is super hot outside. I needed some refreshments. Alright, I might as well tell you guys what I'm up to. I've had a serious craving for poutine, okay? Let's go. One of Canada's most famous, most popular, probably most bad for you foods. A really good friend of mine, he, uh, he gave me a tip on one of the best places in town. Now when I say ridiculous craving, I really mean ridiculous craving. I don't think I've had a poutine in months. I'm not the kind of guy that just goes out and, and gets one. Now. In my first video, I talked a lot about following your dreams and your passions and doing those things that excite you every day. So I'm not advocating here that you go and eat poutine every time it excites you or go and get that hot dog or that hamburger or that pizza. I'm just saying it's Canada's 150th birthday, okay? It's the national dish. It's so good. Just give me a, just, just give me a little break, okay? This is very sad for me. When I was a kid on summer vacation, you would not, <laughs> you couldn't even get a tennis court. Look at this. It's a gorgeous day, middle of summer vacation, empty. What, what are these kids doing? I mean, I don't know. I guess they're just on their iPhones or their iPads or something. It's a little sad. I don't know, man. This is really weird for me. This is one of my favorite places in Ottawa. It's this cute little path. You got a, a pond down on that side, and on the other side you just have all these gorgeous, gorgeous houses. It's just, a, it's, it's like a little paradise. Okay, I think I'm about halfway through my walk. The struggle is getting real. I cannot wait for this magical poutine that supposedly I'm, I'm gonna have in like 25 minutes maybe. As you can see, I've, I've I found another secret little hideout back here. I didn't even know this one existed. I mean, the path is up there and nobody can even see me. I'm, I'm not even 10 feet from the road. One of my favorite things in life is just finding these beautiful little places that nobody else seems to know about and just going there and enjoying them for what they are. Just peaceful solitude. Ah, made it. Some of you are probably asking, if you're so hungry, how come you stop to take all these time lapses? And to that I say, it's all about the shot, dude. So when I first got there, the signs had closed, but as soon as I started freaking out about it, a guy came from around the corner and unlocked the door and went inside, so I think that's a good sign. How's it going? Uh, the truck open for business? I'd like a medium cuisine, please. Thanks. Oh, yeah. So while we're waiting for the 
Washington, I just I wanted to let you guys in on a little secret. Big news, okay? Exciting stuff. There is a very, very likely possibility. There's a very, very good chance. There's an extremely high probability that I'm going to be going to BC, British Columbia, for two months to stay with my brother. I absolutely cannot wait. And if everything works out to plan, it's gonna be like, it's gonna be the trip of a lifetime. I'll keep you guys updated for sure, but I think my poutine's on the way. Oh, buddy. There she is, everybody. So for those of you who don't know what poutine is, it's basically very simple. French fries, cheese curds, and gravy. Lots of gravy. And lots of cheese curds. And lots of French fries. That's it, very simple. It was invented in Quebec, as far as I know. And for some reason or another, it's become one of Canada's national dishes. I'm about to dig in here. Mm. All right, so he gave me a fork. I'm gonna try to get some cheese. A couple of really nice French fries. Mm, you can see that cheese is just is just melty. The great he puts on the cheese raw, but then the gravy actually melts the cheese afterward. Mm, look at that gooey bite. That's just ridiculous. Okay, here we go. My first bite of the day. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. That is so good. It's very simple. There's no bells, there's no whistles. This is just straight up delicious poutine. I'm gonna go for another bite. Mm, just look at that. You can you can actually feel the weight of it in my hand. And the fries kind of absorb a lot of the gravy, which it doesn't even make them soggy. It just makes them delicious and good. One of the most important ingredients of the three ingredients is of course the cheese curds. I'm, I'm trying to get mostly the cheese so we can sample that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. This is great. Totally hits the spot. Would you look at that bite? This is going to be absolute heaven. Mmm. Mmm. That gravy is... It's nice and salty, but it's not too salty. It's not overwhelming at all. It's actually almost got a bit of sweet flavor to it. Mmm. I'm gonna have to put the camera down soon because... I want to demolish this as quickly as possible. All right, last big bite for the camera. Mm. If you're ever in Ottawa South, which is all the way down Bank Street toward Billings Bridge, go to Mr. Poutine Chip Truck. It is honestly unbelievable. I didn't think it was gonna be this good. Wasn't sure what my friend was talking about. You know, everyone says their own little poutine place is the best, but this certainly will give anyone a run for their money. Oh. All right, I'm gonna get back to it. Now, that was amazing. I will take nothing away from that poutine, but I'm still kind of hungry. I think I might know just the place. And they also serve beer. Is it too early for beer? It's five o'clock somewhere. So I learned my lesson the other day when I ran out of battery at the grocery store. I packed an extra battery and I've already run out of my first one, so I'm thanking my lucky stars that I had the good foresight to do that. Loon lager, just something incredibly light because it is so hot, it's so humid outside. I'm just, I'm ridiculously thirsty. Beer is not the best thirst quencher, but it's definitely gonna do the trick right now. Mmm, it's cold. It's so good. A little bit hoppy, but overall very light. A little sweet, but the sweetness isn't overbearing. Mmm. Really nice foamy finish. I like the way it kind of settles in your mouth and goes down your throat. This is absolutely easy drinking. Cold though. This place is so cool. I'm sure at one point this used to be the outside of the building and this was probably an outside courtyard. And then they just put a ceiling over the whole thing and made this beautiful little 
I don't know what we would call it. An atrium, maybe. Yeah, like I'm sure this used to be the outside door. Okay, onward. This is actually a fairly lovely park. I never come in here because it's actually often very flooded. So it's, it's very low-lying land, so you know, any chance of rain, this whole thing becomes a giant puddle. And in the winter time, they block the whole thing off. I guess it's too steep coming up and down those little stairs. I like it. So I guess the crazy thing is, if I actually do go to BC to see my brother and spend two months out there, I think I'll only have about two weeks left in Ottawa. I've called this place home for three years now. And actually, if the plan works out, I'll be leaving Ottawa three years to the day that I moved here. It's just, it's kind of a big deal. And uh, I'm gonna miss this place. I guess that's, that's part of what this whole journey is all about though, isn't it? Taking a step out of your comfort zone and exploring new possibilities in life. I'm, I'm unbelievably excited, but, but wow. Welcome back to my hood. Okay guys, I'm finally back. I am finally home and I've got a delicious little snack waiting for me. Check this out. So I've got some locally grown yellow zucchini from the farmer's market. I've got multicolored carrots from Farm Boy. I've got some beautiful organic kimchi from just down the street in Chinatown. And I've got some homemade beautiful creamy hummus. Mm. I'm just gonna go ahead and and try out that hummus, get a nice big dollop on there. And this is gonna be it for me, guys. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. If you haven't had hummus for a while, go get some really nice fresh hummus. You will not regret it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It was a pleasure, as always. And I will keep you updated on all the other stuff we were talking about. So hopefully big things are in the works. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will talk to you later. Love ya.